Hi everyone, in this video I want to talk about a very famous book. This book is called Galois Theory and it's written by the famous Emil Artin. I believe this book is based off of Emil's lectures that he gave in Notre Dame. So this is, I think, the first book or one of the first books ever devoted to the topic of Galois Theory. Uh, it's a really little book. Let me pick it up so you can see how little it is. It's like a little pamphlet. And I've actually read portions of this book. Uh, I bought it for fun. It was only a few dollars on Amazon. Let's take a look inside it. So this is the table of contents. And literally, this is it. So this is the entire table of contents. It says linear algebra. So it starts off with fields, vector spaces, homogeneous linear equations, etc. I have read uh, all of the first chapter and most of the second chapter. And I have not read the third chapter. So it's a really small book. Look at that. It starts uh, on page one, and the last section starts at page 80. So it's a really, really tiny little book. Let's look deeper inside this book. So this is the beginning of the book. Uh, it's linear algebra, fields. A field is a set of elements in which a pair of operations called multiplication and addition is defined analogous to the operations of multiplication and addition in the real number system, which itself is an example of a field. Then it goes on and on and on. And right here, look at this piece here. In two respects, the analogy is not complete. Multiplication is not assumed to be commutative in every field. So the author does not assume that fields are commutative. So this book is a little bit non-standard by today's uh, standards, right? So things were defined a little bit differently uh, in this book. Uh, the readability of this book is absolutely amazing, though. Um, the way the author goes through everything, well, let, let me turn the page and show you. Okay, so this is page four. This is where he defines dependence and independence of vectors. It says, in a vector space V over a field F, the vectors A sub 1 through A sub n are called dependent if there exist elements X sub 1 through X sub n, not all zero, of f such that you have that linear combination equal to zero. Then it says if the vectors are not dependent, they are called independent. So really standard definition. Then immediately he defines dimension. So the dimension of a vector space v over a field f is the maximum number of independent elements of v. So boom, done. The dimension of a vector space has been defined on page four, right? So he just moves so quickly and elegantly, uh, doesn't mess around. So if you have some math background, you can read this and a lot of it will make sense and you will feel like you are learning. I mean, right here, he defines a generating system, right? So a set of elements, a sub 1 through a sub m, is called a generating system. If each element a of v can be expressed in terms of a linear combination or linearly in terms of those guys. And he just goes on and on and on and he moves through everything quite briefly. I mean, it is a really small book. And it covers Galois theory. So if you're interested in Galois theory and you want something that you can read on your own time for fun and try to work through it, then this is an excellent choice, right? It's a little book. It's called Galois theory. It's really, really small and it's really inexpensive. I don't recall how much it is. I will put a link in the description. I am pretty positive I paid less than $20 for this book. Brand new. That's it.